My name is Joel, and I wrote a book called 10 Essays on Fizz Buzz. To accompany the book, I'm making 10 videos on Fizz Buzz. Episode 2 If, Elif, Elif, Else. Fizz Buzz is the following problem Print the numbers 1 to 100, except if the number is divisible by 3, Instead, print fizz. If the number is divisible by 5, instead print buzz. And if the number is divisible by 15, instead print fizz buzz. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, how could someone get 10 essays worth of material out of this one simple problem? Well, stay tuned. Welcome. I see you wrote a book called Data Science Using Scratch. No, it's data science from scratch. The book is in Python. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Anyway, I'm gonna need you to solve FizzBuzz today. Yeah, sure. So uh, the solution looks a little bit like this. Um, one function called FizzBuzz, which takes in an int and returns a string. And so if n mod 15 is zero, um, you know, we want to return fizz buzz. Uh, and otherwise, if n mod five is zero, we want to return fi uh, buzz. And otherwise, if n mod three equals zero, we want to uh, return fizz. Uh, and then finally, uh, we just want to return the number as is, so we'll turn it into a string and call it good. And so then you want me to print the numbers from one to 100. So for I in range one, 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 print fizz buzz I. Okay, so I think that should do it. And um, what doesn't it like? Expected two blank lines. All right, so I'll, I'll make the linter happy. And now let us, um, run the Python file in the terminal um, and it ran and it seems to have done uh, the right thing. Okay, so that's, uh, so I think that's good. Um, and, you know, what do you think? Yeah, that looks pretty good, but I don't know. That's a lot of if statements. Yeah, sure. So let's see if we can get rid of some if statements. So I'm going to start by just commenting out uh, this previous code that has all the if statements in it. And we'll just start again and try and do kind of the same thing, but with fewer if statements. So uh, we take n as an ant and we return a string. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, uh, say outputs equals uh, fizz buzz buzz fizz and string of n. So those are my four choices for the outputs. Um, and again, instead of using if statements to choose them, I'm going to do something else. And so I'll say index is going to be, let's say n mod 15, n mod five, n mod three and zero dot index of zero. Okay, you with me so far? And then I'm just going to return outputs index. So um, there you go. That's the same uh, same solution, but no if statement. So let's run this and see what happens. Um, so it's thinking really hard because it's a Windows machine. Um, and now again, if you see 90 fizz buzz, 91, 92, 93 fizz, 94, 95 buzz, 96 fizz, fizz buzz. So this looks good. And it has gotten rid of all of those pesky if statements, which you didn't like. So uh, what do you think of that? Yeah, now that's kind of too few if statements. And don't forget to check out the book at fizzbuzzbook.com. Dot com.